Hello and welcome to Knowledge Base 85. Um, so today in this video I'm going to show you how we can um, extract information of the malware that was um, that that was in the in the dump file. So as usual, I'm going to open my terminal. Awesome. I'm going to maximize that. Okay, so I'm going to print out my, uh, my directory. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure which one is uh, which because I have two. Uh, okay, I have two volatilities. One is for Mac and one is for um, Party Linux. Uh, so I'm going to change to the uh, volatility 26 underscore lens. And extend long backward. Alright, so now I'm going to pull my down file and get image in for I'm waiting for my for my profile. That's what we want to run. Taking a bit of a time there. Apologies to that. I'm on a I'm on a virtual machine, so I thought it's taking a little, little bit of time. There we go. So this is the profile that we are looking for. So I'm going to copy it. And then go to the team. So here I'm going to run the ps3 command. Uh, basically what the ps3 command does is it lists um, the relationships of the processes that we're running in that um, file. So um, by that I mean, for example, if since I'm using this, um, this terminal, if I open an application using the terminal, so the application that I will open will have a, a process ID, but the parent process ID will be the terminal. So we are looking for uh, suspicious uh, stuff like that. So what happens most of the times is you will find um, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or um, any 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 browser opening up. Um, uh, another process, another application. So that's what most of the time we'll be looking for digital forensics. Mm -hmm. So I look at so in this instance, you have this uh, process ID and the parent. Uh, process ID is this one. So this application opened this service. So okay there we go. Right here. This is the suspicious activity that's going on here. So you got the command prompt, right? It's got the process sixteen sixteen, but the parent process ID is the Internet Explorer. So, this is suspicious. 
So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to print um, the most famous um, folders that the malware use. Malware normally uh, hides itself in Ed data, not in the program or system file. So I'm going to copy that instead of wasting time. You know, Copy that and let me print the hive list and see what uh, show you what exactly I'm talking about. There you go. So it's more likely that we will find malware in either this pad or this pad in this pad in this folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print key off this keys here. I'm going to, this key is the, it's the, almost the same key. Um, I'm going to print this one first. Let me print that one first. I'm going to copy and paste that. Is there and I'm gonna put my key this one okay, and I'll put my key right here and see where this takes us to. So there is a famous uh, folder um, that malware um, normally attaches itself to, and it should be on the software here. Let's see, uh, so I'm going to print out that. Um, Copy this, paste that, uh, minus key, um, minus k, minus k uh, it's, um, it's the key itself, so let me print that software. It is a path. But I forget, like, the, I could have just uh, typed in the path, but I forget what it is. Uh, since it's a uh, Internet Explorer, so yeah, it should be Microsoft there. So I'm gonna go to Microsoft. So you see, um, it's a path. See, it takes us to Okay, we're getting our information printed out.
So we're gonna go to Windows. Uh, so again, this path is the most famous path um, that malware uses. So it's gonna take us. We are getting somewhere here. Looks like we are going to win the here. Copy here. Copy here. Paste there. Uh, uh, Version. Version. Um, okay, I think we're interested in the one. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to the one. So you see, it's a full pad. Awesome. So, just as I thought. So you see, uh, we have This right here is not a good executable. So this explains everything. So if you see Internet Explorer in the app data um, file path, just go ahead and delete it because Internet Explorer should be in the program files, normally in the C um, in the C file. I think it's C program files. Uh, Flash Microsoft, uh, I think it's Flash Microsoft or uh, Flash Program Files, uh, Program Files, Internet Explorer. Let me see, give me a second, let me, let's Google that before we, uh, we make a mistake. Um, so as you can see here, you can go ahead and get some challenges on rootme.org. Um. Okay, my virtual machine is um, taking forever to load, so let's just uh, call it a day. But basically, if you see Internet Explorer. Um, in the app data in this file pad right here which is most famous for um, 
um, uh, for, for Marvel. Just go ahead and delete it. And this one right here is for Marvel. Alright, um, so I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, share, uh, and subscribe to Knowledge Base 85. Thank you.